Hi, my name is Joe Major. I'm the CEO of Census. We're a Silicon Valley IoT company. And what we're here talking about today is uh, wireless, battery-free sensors. You see them here. Uh, that's all they are. But these sensors can detect a lot of different things. They can detect index, index of refraction changes. They can detect temperature. They can detect light. They can detect moisture. They can detect strain. And they do that all with a very, very low cost structure and a very, very convenient um, use, usage. Uh, we can see uh, tags in a lot of different positions. We can read these sensors from five to 10 meters away. What we are showing here uh, is the cure cycle of an epoxy chemistry. And in that chemistry, we can detect uh, the presence of the epoxy. We can detect uh, when the epoxy goes from the liquid phase to the solid phase of the cure. We can track the evolution of TG as it increases. Uh, we can track the full thermal profile so we see when the when the temperature goes up, where the peak is, you can see how broad that exothema peak is. And, and so it provides a lot of insight into uh, composite manufacturing. Can you give us some detail about what we're looking here, the graphs, and then what the numbers are kind of giving us? Yeah, so I don't know if you'll see the graphs clearly, but there's a sensor in here, which is basically a capacitive sensor, and it's measuring the effective index inside the material. So you can see it. The orange starts here, the epoxy enters and it climbs quite high. As it's coming down, that's curing through the uh, liquid phase. When it hits a minimum and starts coming back up, that's the solid phase of cure. And as this plateaus, that's the evolution of the uh, glass transition temperature as it comes up. And so we detect all those changes with software that we put together. So we can tell you when does the resin arrive at a particular time in a mold. Uh, we can tell you uh, has it gone through its phase change. We can map, if you will, all of these important parameters in the middle of a process. And of course, see, these are all closed containers. So because of closed containers, this is sort of giving you visibility where you're really largely blind right now. And the percentage is at the bottom. Is that the percentage of cure? It is. So. You can see here the sensor reads quite low and over time that evolves up and so we can work out that curve and tell you how far along the, uh, the in a container like this we tell you how far it is or if it's in a park we can tell you how cured is the park. And what can you use these sensors with? Carbon fiber, glass fiber? So glass fiber is a uh, glass fiber, any of the air myths, so uh, Kevlar is a good example, fiberglass, uh, Kevlar, any fabric. Um, they can detect moisture in these fabrics so they can tell you whether or not you need to dry out the, the uh, part before you put the resin in. Carbon fiber, uh, carbon is a carbon fiber's a conductor so we can't read through it but we can put a sensor on top of it so we can measure uh, the temperature of the carbon fiber. And, carbon, and what the resin is doing basically yeah, in that area. Not as well as we can with fiberglass, okay. but we can still see when it hits the solid transition, we can see that start to uh, change the dielectric properties. The other thing we can do with the pre-preg is we can mount a tag on a pre-preg bundle and we can track the temperature as it moves around uh, a factory.